Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Uh, welcome to myboxingcoach.com. Um, so I coach you, I mean, and I think it's coached widely, to be honest with you, around the world. And I, I call it the stinger. It's a very common skill in boxing. It's also called the phased attack. You'll notice I've got a, a brush handle on the floor here. It's just to show you um, the distance that I'm moving. So if I'm in the start position, you imagine I'm in range with, a, with an opponent. Common skill that we coach is jab, out in, one, two. Jab, out in, one, two. So from the side, jab, out in, one, two. And the reason we do that, we throw the jab. We throw the jab, we move out. Opponent's punch comes, because when you hit someone, often they'll hit back. Opponent comes, uh, punch comes, and then we move back in and fire the one, two. So it's a setup for a counter punch. You can also... Uh, do side steps as well. So you've got one, one, two. Or you can even punch when you're there. One, one, two. One, one, two. So little shifts to the side. And there. Pushing off the front foot to go that way. Pushing off the back foot and stepping across to go that way. One, two, three. Okay. Manny Pacquiao. Great Filipino boxer. Fantastic at his peak. He has a really excellent way of um, using both his southpaw stance and combining those two things to create a really smart move. So, obviously, Pacquiao was a, a southpaw. Now, common sort of um, a common approach when dealing with a southpaw, or when a southpaw boxes an orthodox. So, if you imagine you're orthodox, a key position is to dominate the the safe zone over here where the opponent you can keep the opponent in the target area and they find it more difficult to target you because you've moved away from their powerful backhand and Pacquiao used to do that a lot but what he used to do uh, also was move that way now there's risk there obviously if I'm a southpaw you're orthodox and I move that way and I do so in a straight line in range push across, you can see my front foot is staying in, on the same line, then I'm moving straight into your backhand, straight into your powerful right hand. So what Pacquiao used to do, he'd push across there, and you can see my foot has come away from that pole about that far. So I've moved slightly out of range, but to the opponent, he still thinks I'm in range. So he lets that backhand go, and Pacquiao steps straight back in and fires his counters. So what he ended up with was... Okay, I want to go orthodox because it's easier for me, but the same principle applies. I'm doing a little push to that area. We're not going too far out, we're going up that far so that the opponent throws the shot and I can counter. So it's one, one, two. You can come back in with a single backhand. One, one, one. Rather than going across and exposing yourself to the backhand, you move across, you draw the leads of the opponent because that opponent thinks you're in range. Their punch is going to fall this short, but you're in a perfect position to fire back in with your straight counter punches. Specialist Manny Pacquiao move that. Watch, he, he does it a lot. I think the time he, he knocked Ricky Hatton out, and that was one of them knockouts where he could have counted to 100 and Ricky wasn't getting up from that one. Um, but Pacquiao used that particular skill there. Used it a lot throughout his career. So have a, have a little look. Um, okay. I hope that's been useful. Sign up to the Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Lots of great advice in there. Free book. Just pop your email in. Lots of great advice around um, setting your journey on boxing, the training regimes and cycles, and how to use heavy bag and all of the 10 basic skills. Lots of good stuff in there. My name is Fran Sands and this is myboxingcoach.com. Thank you.